Lacey Cook, and today I will be interviewing President Hoover. Tell me about your life before the presidency. Well, I was born in West Branch, Iowa, and after that, my life could be called kind of tough. My dad, he passed away when I was six, and then... This is very cold out there. <gasps> Mom! Mom! Are you okay? I think she's dead. So I had to move in with my Uncle Noonberg in Oregon. Where did you go to school? I went, I went to school to, at Stanford and got a degree in geology so I could start working in the mining business. What did you do after that? Well, for the mining business, I got my first job at a Cali as a California mine engineer's assistant, and then I quickly got promoted into his position. And then I got offered a job in Australia to be a mining engineer there, and I worked there for a while before, before I started wanting to work in the government. How did you start working in the government? I started as a U.S. as a U.S. food administrator during World War One. I, I distributed the food throughout the U.S. so that people would, so that the food would be distributed between soldiers and people fairly. And I also distributed food to other countries who were poor and needed help after, and during the reconstruction from World War I. When were you elected as President of the United States? I was elected for presidency, well I was inaugurated for presidency on June 14th in 1928. And then I won the election on November 6, 1928. What are some of your biggest accomplishment, accomplishments? This is a hard question to answer. There's a lot of accomplishments that I made that I think that are very good for this country. First of all, I'm going to start with I increased the National Parks System's land so that oil and coal places could not mine there because it was a national park. I also put black, put African Americans into positions in the government agencies so that we could eliminate segregation throughout the United States. Wow, you had a pretty interesting life. here interviewing President Herbert Hoover. What would you say were your two biggest accomplishments of your life? Well, one of, my, one of my biggest accomplishments that I think I've ever made was the Agricultural Marketing Act, which, which is where I gave $500 million to purchase surplus crops from farmers to be resold when the economy improved. My second accomplishment was that I was the co-founder of UNICEF, the United Nations Children's Fund, which is where we, the United Nations put money to help children get food, shelter, and health care in malnourished countries and post-war situations. This helped many people during the World War II and World War I and the UNICEF is still going on today. The stock market crashed six months after you were elected president. What did you do to try to fix the problem? 
Well, I started by trying to make a reconstruction finance corporation, which gave loans to struggling businesses to help them get through the hard and troubling times during the Depression. What did you do after losing the presidency to Franklin Delano Roosevelt? I, quickly after I lost the presidency, I became the chairman of the Boys Club of America in 1936. I stayed in that job throughout the rest of my life until retirement. Reporting live. Unfortunately, our interview was cut short due to Herbert Hoover's death at the age of 90. This is Lacey Cook reporting live on October 20th, 1964.